Hey everyone, Chaos Cat Gaming here. <laughs> um, apparently, Oppie has a little secret. Uh, because of a little oopsie uh, with how I exited, I accidentally skipped a uh, chunk of the dialogue, apparently, so I, th so I think that might be why it's so dark. I'll have to stitch in some stuff um, from a different video that I found so we can actually get the dialogue here. Wow! Oppie was hiding a magic teleporter? We could have been beaming all over the zone this whole time? Eh, hey, don't worry. I'll restore her connection once you do us a little favor. We suspect Oppie's hiding a copy of Otis' database in that auto shop of hers. Find it, and we can get back to this remnant business. All right, I've, I've identified the electrical circuit for the garage's security system. And there's an auto security lock in that circuit. So, once I do this... Hey, bingo! That security lock's powered on now. Try that overload code from the observation towers. 4735. Uh... About the tele- being able to teleport back to the base? Oh, my car has flat. I... I know that they told us about it because we obviously use it. I, I thought they had been on comms, but I guess not. Ooh, we got a beep. What's the beeps? Uh, Sanderson is reporting a... Why is he doing a pimple? Whatever. Um... So with it being so dark, uh... Apparently, uh, Tobias, I think it is? Tobias also has the great, um, override key. Um... Driver, something you should know about that database? When Artis funding began to dry up, they handed us our final paycheck with one hand and the same day evacuation orders with the other. Oppie was a higher up, though more entitled than an actual power by that time. She would have known about Artis' plan to close up shop and had enough time to download all the research data before losing access. That data could contain what we need to help you. Yay, data. So this is a little secret thing. Oh god, that, that actually makes this worse, because I mentioned before, I don't know if I cut it out of the video or not, about how, like, I haven't really had a shower since, like, all the days I've been here. This is the bathroom! Have I just been... Oh god, I don't want to think about where I've been going to the bathroom. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, I got it. Cool. Uh, that's words and numbers. I don't know what. Rocket cola. Ooh, flash drive. Or not flash drive, hard drive. Um. This, flat, this hard drive is very painful to me, because for anyone that actually has any sort of, um, for most people that have computer knowledge, with a with a hard drive, I like how the icon of the floppy disk. With a hard drive, generally you don't want to see the actually see be able to see the disk and the writing needle. Because that's very bad, because generally if you open up a hard drive that has a disk in it, not a, instead of a SD instead of a solid state, that hard drive is probably um destroyed some like from the sheer fact of you opening it. Because if, because, it was like, if like, after opening it, you can never run that, you can probably never run that again, because that needle is running just barely above the surface. And opening it couldn't cause that to not be able to work anymore, because they're sealed, they're designed sealed, so opening it can actually severely damage. Boy, oh boy, look at all these gizmos in here. Arpia wasn't operating no normal auto shop. A fabrication station. Oh, a personal vault? I bet there's some good stuff in there. A vault? I I'm uncomfortable intruding like this. I I can, can you not? Hold the phone. There's a machine that prints bobbleheads? Oh, I guess that's the like, one thing. Show me. <laughs> I guess the bobblehead machine that they're talking about is the, um, 
whatever. But I guess we finally get to use the pneumatic tube. Sorry, driver. Whoa, you did it! Huh? Hey, you actually did it! Ah, oh, boy, Audi, I cannot wait to fix all this data. Uh, good luck, cause as after promised, us, that, that, that I'll fix around Abby's hard. connection. Do you read me? Come in. Do you read me? Hi, Oppy. Loud and clear, you old bat. I see. The comms clear up suddenly, and I find you two patched into the garage frequency. <laughs> it all makes sense now. No idea what you're talking about. So, Oppy, what's the, uh, what's the plan? You must have some grand scheme, don't you? Let me get this straight. You hijacked my mission, tapped into my frequency, and now you want to be all buddy-buddy. Not on your life. You think you're hot stuff. Why don't you take the lead then? Get the driver through all by your damn selves. Did she just hang up on so us? So grouchy. Well, guess it's our time to shine. <laughs> so, uh, Francis, you got any ideas? <laughs> We know the driver needs to get to the deep zone, but it's too dangerous to head there directly. We have to zero in on exactly where to go. The signal amplification trick won't work here. The ambient instability is too strong in the mid zone. Huh, how indeed. Um, there was one other time where the mass hallucination and the remnants intersected. Driver, I've tagged a route for you. Whenever you're ready, give it a spin. Oh, that sounds fun. Sounds like we. That sounds like they've immediately given us our um, our next mission. I do, I do. I much prefer actually have actually being given the next mission on the list as opposed to um. As opposed to simply a yeah, go drive for a little bit. Hey, driver. Sorry about all that mess with Oppie. Huh? Th th there's no question. Oppie is a is a, a once in a generation genius. I I've watched her manipulate wavelengths with nanometer precision without batting an eye. <laughs> so, yeah, to see her go from being the sharpest person in the room to what she is now is disappointing. This place, it leeches away your sanity day by day. So for, for Oppie to live here in complete isolation, locked away with only bad memories and expired medication, nothing good comes of that. I'd feel a hell of a lot better if I knew why she suddenly cares so, so much about the remnants. Because she's trying to find her husband. Yeah, that is right, because she is like ten, she is 10 miles away from where we currently are. Speaking of Oppy, you're not going to like this, Francis, but I'm starting to think we can't do this alone. Look, it, it's not that I doubt our abilities, but no one knows the zone like that old bat. You heard what she said. She'll sabotage this remnant before helping us. Right. Well, she'll come around to our charms. No, she won't. Nothing in the 13 years we spent in R&D proof that she's open to working with anyone. She dug her heels in so deep that she wrestled everyone down into the grave with her. I... I can't be involved if she is. What are you talking about? This is the entire reason we stayed behind, to write the record of the zone. Not about the experiments and the technology, but to tell the legends of the land. I don't want anything to do with her. I, I don't want to talk to her. I, I don't want her advice. I, I, I don't want to hear her goddamn voice. This isn't like you. What's going on, Francis? Is there something I should know? No. Sounds like a yes. All your work in Lim R&D, all the time you spent, your entire career, your entire life. You sacrificed it all for Arda, and how did they thank you? With a black hole in your resume, where you can't tell anyone what you did. You couldn't even tell people where you wiped your ass for ten years. So no, I I'm not letting this go. Not for me, Ooh. but especially not for you. Th 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 that's not... Never mind. You know, sometimes I wonder, how much of you staying here was actually to hunt these legends? Or if it was because he had nowhere else to go. Harsh. Oh god, acid drains the car fuel? Ugh. I don't like that.
Here we are, finally in the mid zone. Uh, pickpocket. So I guess the uh, the abductors are now are going to be um are going to more actively go after items as opposed to people. I'm tired of them stealing my fucking cars. Not not my cars, my um. My, my, so they're taking items out of my hand. Big lightning storms here, wow. Oh, look at the grass ruffle in the wind! Actually, it looks like there's a... Let you does it. Yeah. I'm really curious what's with those, but no. Oh. I love the swamp. What's that? Is that anything? No. What? It looks like a little frog. Ooh. What are you? A belching barnacle. Oh, maybe those are the pickpockets. Oh. Ooh, it launches me as well. Quite far. I can't get anything from that. So cool. This is so much brighter. This one's amazing. Oh, I'm so happy I got I got the better flashlight. This is infinitely better than the other uh, than the relatable flare. I can actually see everything now. Wow! Look at that. You know, abductors are probably the worst one. They are probably the worst. Um, they are probably the worst anomaly of the of the outer zone because they are the only anomaly from the outer zone that is still a major threat, annoyance, and um, fear, even while in the even while still well um, able to get to the middle zone. Rotten egg. Ow. No, I haven't actually seen any of those, um... What the fuck? You 
stole my headlight, you bitch! Yeah, that head, that, those pickpockets are absolutely a valid threat. God damn. I figured they'd just take items from me, not rip apart my goddamn car. Those pickpockets are very likely the, um, the worst anomaly of the middle zone because any anomaly that actively that actively takes stuff off of my car is like the abductor takes the whole car mild annoy annoyance but ripping a ch but ripping a whole chunk out of my car that's a whole nother issue altogether because for the most part as long as the abductor doesn't completely it doesn't completely destroy my car yeah, it's it's a it's a major annoyance, but at the end of the day, it's still just an annoyance. Oh, that that actually that heals really pretty quickly. That's actually that's I think that's even better than the than the stuff that I find. I I absolutely love the blowtorch. I I think. I guess the blowtorch is like that um the game gives you is 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 a low is a lower quality blowtorch. I, I I do honestly I do, I do really love how I can blowtorch the tire and fix it. It's like yeah I don't I don't think burning a tire would be a good effective way of repairing it. Yeah with with one with one blowtorch admittedly. One blowtorch is mildly expensive, but still, with one blowtorch, I was able to repair basically the entire car. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what's that was that doing, but like, but I like I love whatever quirk is causing my um my thing to spin. Stability, woo! All right, here we go in the new zone. Are you ready, driver? Okay, first off, I've loaded up three locations on your ARC device map. You see them? Hey, head to whichever strikes your fancy. You, you're sending them to the Visions? Sure am. We're gonna use visions? this. My optical vasilizer. We shouldn't use that. Why not? I mean, it's, it's been decades. It, no way that thing is in any sort of working shape. I've been fixing her up in secret, Animals? and I'm sorry. Don't be mad. It's gonna be a surprise for your birthday. <laughs> oh, oh I've gone ahead and made an itty bitty modification to your headset, driver. I've hooked up the basilizer here to modulate your scan function. Think of it like, uh, or like an extra layer of mayonnaise on your technology sandwich. <laughs> uh, what, what are you using the basilizer for? Uh, 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 no spoilers. We have to tell the story from the beginning. Drive. Get ready to uh, feast your eyes gun, on. Oh God, no! I don't want to the body. No, 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 no! Let me go. I'm just curious about the lights. Blasted power pod. So we told you about the mass hallucination. Hundreds of people, 30 seconds of crazy, yada yada. But there was one instance where that event and the remnants intersected. The story of Laura Cesari. Laura worked at Arda as an executive secretary. She put in her hours, but she spent her evenings with a real passion. Painting. When the hallucination event swept through, Laura was overtaken like everyone else. But for her, the visions didn't stop. She tried painting them, but grew frustrated at her inability to recreate what she saw. Now at first, Anna wrote her off as one of the many whose brains got scrambled by what they saw. Until, Laura stumbled across a rusty can of paint in the woods. It was a remnant. Once she started using this paint, you the fuckers. visions in her paintings began to come true. She painted feverishly for over a year, chasing the visions the entire time. Until the day the paint ran empty. And then she disappeared. 
Like all Remnant holders do. Now that we know the remnants in the mass hallucination are related, maybe Laura's visions can help us out. Our vision? I mean, again, like with Laura disappearing, it's honestly it's very possible that Laura actually um that, that Laura didn't quite disappear. Laura simply went to the um went to the where where that's not what I want to grab. And Laura simply went to where we're trying to get to had to um to try to get more paints. But those bubblegum buddies are like a more annoying version of the abductor. Bingo, where the fuck is it going? However, they do seem to be fighting with each other, so I am more than happy to let them fight. Well, this is where your theory comes in, Francis. Uh, you tell him. Oh, <laughs> look at me babbling away. Francis, you, you explain it. it. It's so good. No, it's just... Uh, I'd rather not. Hey, come on, we talked about this. You should be proud of your work. Toot your own horn. I, 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 not this time. Okay, well, uh, Francis's theory, his entire branch of research was that the zone exhibits a property seen nowhere else on Earth. Every phenomena that occurs here leaves its fingerprint forever on the physical space. So he created this device to pick up on these uh, sub-physical after-effects. How did you explain it? It was like identifying a whale's favorite color using only the wake it leaves behind. Uh, the rest was science mumbo-jumbo. It's a form of electromagnetic imprint. Anyway, it was a long time ago. And what a better time than now to try it again! So I'm coming up to this thing? To Mumbo Jumbo Lies? Oh, it's one of the vision drawings. And boop. I mean, it's a pretty draw. The great mural. pile up. <laughs> you know, if you catch the mural at the right angle, when the moon is right overhead, you can spot the helmsman's body in one of the boats. No chance. It's a paint smudge. Nothing more. <laughs> Believe me, it's true. I've seen it. Hey, uh, is it just me, or did this mural look different before? Probably the instability uh, messing with the paint over time. It's been decades, after all. Nah, uh, something's... Yeah, because those swirls weren't definitely there just off. a minute again. Hey, uh, where's our old notes from when we took a field trip out that way? Uh, Driver, why don't you go ahead to the next one while we investigate this? Hey. That does definitely look like a body right there. Ooh. No, no, I'm telling you, the helmsman never made it out of the zone. He died here. Not, not this again. I still don't know why you're so convinced he existed in the first place. Driver, back me up here. This is how the story goes. It was the winter of 72. A ship set sail down the Columbia River 100 miles east of here. The helmsman was overcome by bad weather, and, and while in a particularly foggy patch, the boat hit something, and the impact threw him from the deck. When he woke up, he was on a boat on this very lake, smack in the middle of the zone, with no idea how he got there. He had with him a ridiculous amount of cash and paid anyone and everyone to get him out of the zone. But no matter how he tried to leave, on foot, in a transport, he would always head into a fog and reemerge on another boat. At last count, the great pileup was 20 boats high and 30 boats wide. Oh, wow. Uh, a limb duplication glitch, nothing more. And you, of all people, blaming limb tech instead of a good old-fashioned mystery? It doesn't add up. Artist's favorite pastime was carting people out of the zone. How could someone actually fail to escape? And a mysterious man with a backpack full of cash and the one place he can't spend it. Seems awfully fishy to me. <gasps> Ooh! That's one of the corrupted ones! 
I didn't expect I'd run into any of these out here. I, I absolutely expected that, that, that these ones... No, you bastard abductor! Looking at yak. Oh wow. That is quite the mangled mess. Now what's really funny is that like this sort of do reminds me quite strongly of the um, of the Soma life gel stuff. That corrupted uh, that that infected and corrupted everything. I mean that maybe that's just me. but I absolutely didn't expect to find one of those here. I am ha very happy I did though, because that's actually great. But wait, if I can find those here, does that mean I'm gonna end up, I'm gonna run out of um, stuff to, re I, 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 I can potentially run out of stuff to research for the middle area? Ooh. Eh, I wonder if the whole, z I wonder if like, if everywhere throughout the whole zone has those anchor pods, or if the reason that, to like these areas are sa are safe to go to and are reasonably stable is because um that the these are one of, like these like these places are po are like pockets of low instability so it's less likely to um to sent to spontaneously combust you goddamn floaters Well, good to know I can get rid of them the same way I can, I can an abductor. I still think the border lighting is really pretty. Door. Alright, memorize, memorize this door to make sure, so just in case it does shift. The inverting doorway. No, no, I don't. I don't like this one. Oh, did you, did you see that, Francis? Oh boy, oh boy, Francis! Look, look, look! Uh, look here, it's different from our sketch when we visited oh, in eighty-two. Oh, the door. The, it, it's yeah, it's shifting. all scrambled, but the shape seems familiar. If you, if you tilt your head, doesn't that kind of look like Mount Olympus? Oh, Francis, you flippin' genius! It absolutely is! Wait, 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 let's look back at the first one. What's different there? That, that shape right there, is, is that Hook Valley? Holy smokes! Oh, wait, pull up all the topographical maps of the peninsula. If we look around the areas where you'd get that view of Mount Olympus... See, Francis? I told you your basilizer would work! I... I don't think this is the basilizer's doing. Driver, we're on to something. Get to that third vision. Nope, Francis, no matter what you say, it's absolutely the, the, um, the basilizer. Take credit for the work. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah, I can't even look at it. Francis, you explain it. And maybe you've already seen them, Driver. A freestanding bright blue door in its frame out in the wilderness with nothing around it. If you do see one, don't get anywhere close to it. I don't want to talk about it. He was pretty close to a doorway when it opened. It's called the inverting doorway. When the door is shut, it's safe. But once in a while, it opens and everything near it is turned inside out. Its victims are mostly bears, squirrels, and birds. They all go through hell. Meat and bones on the outside, fur and feathers on the inside. It's not fun to see. Once, a group of hikers didn't heed the warning, and, and... No, 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 we're done here. Drive if you see when you stay away from it. That's all you need to know. Let's go. <laughs> I am actually really curious if I am actually going to be... If I am actually going to find one of... Um, 
around in the uh, like a flax you make find so one while we're driving fish. around. That'd actually be cool. Uh, driver, if you come across a mushroom like the one in the mural, do not eat it. No, <laughs> no matter how tasty it might look. <laughs> but, <laughs> you're speaking from personal experience, and let me tell you. It wasn't pretty. Oh, just thinking about it makes me want to puke all over again. Unless, of course, it's giving the dollar for the probably next passed the biogenerators by now. They're our source of power in the mid zone, and one of the best demonstrations of renewable limb tech. Yes, these battery farms keep our lights on, but more importantly, they're also the only place in the entire zone where anomalized mushrooms grow. And guess who turned out to be the world's biggest fan of those mushrooms? Bigfoot itself, and the vision foretold its arrival in the zone. It started when those pods hanging from the battery farms were found chewed up. At first, they blamed it on the local wildlife. This was back when we used to have some. Then, the sightings of ten-foot-tall creatures started. That didn't attract much attention on their own. Not until the first footprints were found. The Olympic Peninsula has always had a collection of Bigfoot sightings, but they were rare until Bigfoot had its first taste of the anomalized mushrooms. Then it couldn't stay away. And that's when the Squatches came knocking. They jumped the wall, set up camp, and they got to investigating. Once they learned of the Sasquatch's appetite for these mushrooms, they cultivated entire farms of the stuff. For months, they propagated mushrooms and set traps. <laughs> and for months, evidence mounted that Sasquatch was making its rounds and evading those traps. Until one night, the experts disappeared. Bigfoot got them, no question. Oh, come on, all eight at once? How is that possible? Never get in the way of a hungry Sasquatch. Squatch. So, I mean, with, with that story, like, I, like with the amount of stuff that happens here, I can absolutely believe that. Maybe, maybe not necessarily... Maybe not necessarily, um, Sasquatch to make Oppie happy, but... But definitely some sort, some sort of... A humanized, um... Bear, perhaps. Or not humanized, anthropomor anthropomorphized bear. Cause I can I, I I could see that happening, especially with 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 the with the sheer amount of radiation and the amount of anomalies. The fact that to that Oppie is um is so against the potential the potential I the the sheer idea of something like that, something like Sasquatch being like being able to be um formed here is a bit absurd. I could absolutely, I could absolutely see like a, I was like, yeah. So, so it was. <laughs> he has a mustache. Yeah. So that's, so that is exactly what it was. The dialogue that just played is actually supposed, is actually for this mural. So it played before we actually got to it. What else is particularly damaged? The hood again. But I love his little mustache. <laughs> ah, the Bigfoot mural! <laughs> My personal favorite! I mean, I suspect that realistically Bigfoot would look kind of, would, would look kind of like stu uh, stuff. See that pattern in the last mural? That flower only grows above a, a certain elevation. Then put the three locations together and, and you've got... A square mile in the northeast corner of the deep zone. Huh. The visions were pointing towards something the entire time. <laughs> hey, Oppy. You can stop pretending to ignore us now. Take a look at this fine work. We've pinned down the location for the source of the mass hallucination. That's where the driver needs to go. Well, what do you know? Well, I knew the basilizer worked. What did I tell you, huh? He still doesn't know, Francis. Know what? Happy? Not my story to share. Francis? 
Is it that the but is it that the Basilizer never worked, or is that or is it that it's not actually Francis's and that Basilizer? They're uh, illegitimate. No. Wait, what are you saying? I built that device to prove my imprint theory, and it was on the verge of getting the results I needed. But my research funding was running out. So, I forged the data. Not much, just enough to justify more time. I, I was so close, I knew the breakthrough was right around the corner. But Ara found out. That's why I was reassigned and my clearance revoked. Wait, wait, you told me you changed labs voluntarily. Eight years of research with nothing to show for it. And then, and then for that to happen, I, I couldn't face you. That doesn't mean your theory is wrong. I still think there's something to it. There's a common thread with some of the remnant stories, like the telephone switchboard, the ones that seem to recall the past somehow. Maybe the remnants access those imprints, read them like a needle in the groove of a record. Don't. You... You don't have to do that. It's in the past. I, I don't care about it anymore. I mean, I absolutely believe but listen, it. listen, I've got this suspicion. Fission, right? If we can just get the car to the mass hallucination source, what do we find they can prove your theory? It's worth a try, isn't it? I'm tired of trying, Tobias. I've tried all my life, and it didn't go so well. Look, I don't have one of those fancy degrees that you and Arpy have. The closest I ever got to science was wiping down your lab benches. But I saw the incredible things that you did with your research. Yeah, well, Arda didn't think they were incredible. I don't care about Arda. I believe in you. Always have. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't do this with her. Oppie led the disciplinary committee that stripped my clearance and demoted me to a glorified intern. She sat there and decided how best to humiliate me. Oppie! I never asked for anything. This one time I do... So I would, I would never have to talk to Oppie again. You didn't listen. Your remnant was more important than what I wanted. Francis, I didn't mean... I've had enough. Uh, uh, he'll, he'll, uh, he'll come around. Sorry, driver. We'll, um... We'll see you back at the auto shop. I mean, like, I, I get not wanting to deal with the person, to deal with the person that did that to you, but sometimes you really do need to go a little bit more into, uh, sometimes you really do need to go a little bit more into, uh, uh, go into a little bit more detail than just, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to be around them. It's like, sometimes it's a thing of, I have, sometimes it's as simple as, I have severe bad blood with this person, not a... Yeah, this person was a bit of a dick. It's like it's like so not not just say yeah, this person was a bit of a dick when I worked when I worked around HR. It's like that is very different of a nah. So this this person is just an asshole. Not I actively have that. I personally have issues with her. Like those are two very distinct things. But let's hit, but let's head on back to the um shop. And my other tire is busted. God damn it. I think I can get there while it's busted. So many squires are in this area now. Like, they used to be super rare in the outer zone, but here they're fairly common, actually. They are a bit of a pain to try to scrap with a regular um, scrapper, though. Fortunately, I hope I'll be able to make uh, get, unlock the better scrapper um, now that I have stuff. More importantly, I hope I have enough to be able to build the thing. God, that really is just a laser death beam.
Ooh. So it seems that for whatever reason, honestly, what's really Interesting funny is. Interesting thing about that deep zone area you identified. I ran every coordinate in that area through the auto database, and what turns up? But access logs with entry records for Doctor K up through March 1963. What? No, the doctor died in 1961, in the lab accident. So we were told. Then, I found access logs for both that deep zone site and Red Meadow. Years and years worth of activity. The Red Meadow Research Facility? But it was demolished the same year. A after the structural damage caused by the... Uh, they lied about that too, didn't they? It appears so. The driver should give the Red Meadow ruins a visit. If Dr. K didn't die that day, I'd like to know what was keeping him so busy. So would I, but... Do we have time for this? We don't know how long the driver's got with that remnant. And that's Remember why we need this information. Whatever Dr. K was doing relates to all of this. It may be the key to what lies at the end of the road for the driver. I... Uh, agree with you. God, I hate saying that. <laughs> driver, I've marked the Red Meadow facility on your route planner. Head there whenever you're ready. So that's the so that'll be the end of this that episode. But first, before you go away, I kind of want to do a new thing. Cause while dri while driving around trying to do the recording for all of these vid uh, trying to do the recording for this video, I tend to come across a whole bunch of these things, a whole bunch of the dumpster pearls. So I think it would be kind of fun that at the end of the episodes. That I go, that I throw all of these in and see what the full haul is, and what the full haul is from all the dumpster pearls that I, that I collected um while working on this. Ooh, yes, a whole bunch of chemicals. That's great. Circuit, circuit, um, circuitry, that's decent. Those, eh. What's that? Did that spit out a flashlight? MREs. <laughs> a bar of some kind, a bunch of batteries, a bunch of food. Look at this huge pile of stuff. What do you want? A uh, hiker credits to survivor to dogs. Oh, uh, thought of a gigantic speaking sphere of like. Oh, that was one of the crackling crawlers. Nope, not 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 a bone lightning. It was absolute. That was absolutely one of the crackling crawlers. Let me put this stuff into here, because I hope it, it actually has enough space. And let's see how much of this I can scoop up. <laughs> uh, most of it, actually. Ah, so what I got was heading north. It's a compass, um, stick. Interesting. Oh wow, there was, a, there was actually a whole bunch of um the decal stuff in there. Cool. So if you enjoyed the video, uh, be sure to leave a like, a put leave a like and subscribe. Um. And I, and, yeah. But I, I miss, I, why, why is it, hmm. Why did they have to be so mean to Francis? I mean, yes, he lied and lying is bad, but come on. Of course, technically, I suppose if the, if the, um, Brazilizer or whatever it was, it has been his only invention in eight years that I could kind of see that being 
kind of a bad sign, but it's like there is absolutely something there because we were able to see the stuff. Anyway, if you guys have any comments, uh, have any ideas, leave them in the comments below. And without further ado, bye!